I'm Marilyn Powers. I'm the Director of Academic Technology Integration and Innovation here at Mohawk College. And I oversee a lot of the work that's being done in augmented and virtual reality when it comes to integrating it into curriculum. My name is Neil McQuaig. I'm a professor of power engineering here at Mohawk College. I think virtual reality is another tool that we can use to train new power engineers, certainly on uh, more scenarios uh, that we can introduce to the students that we can't really do here in the powerhouse. So uh, it's exciting to be a part of that. So virtual reality is literally recreating a world in a virtual space, so think digital space. It's in 3D, and when we call it immersive, it means that you can interact with this 3D world as if it were the physical world. So it often requires a headset uh, and something to track where your hands are so that you can interact with things. So VR is, is critical to some of the skill building and competency assessment that we want to do in education and training. While using VR, you can do a lot of things that you can't do in real life. You can recreate equipment that you might not have. You can recreate spaces that you might not have access to. We can't have every piece of equipment here in the lab, such as condensing steam turbines and uh, we don't have a water tube boiler, so we could have one in virtual reality and it'll give the students some exposure to those types of uh, equipment. But more importantly, you can have students or learners go through procedures and simulations and put them at risk um, where in real life they would that would be a risk that was unreasonable to take. But in VR, they can take that risk without the consequences of harming themselves or others. Here, what we are talking about is getting people to competency quicker. Competency meaning that they're able to take the skills they've learned and all the knowledge they've learned and put it together and create good judgment so that they can react with good judgment. And that's really the key of, of where VR can go. Working with Up360 has been amazing. They get the context of the college education. They work very well with not just us, but other colleges as well, because they understand the education and how VR fits into that, into that training and education. What I really like is that even though they're a fairly young and starting up team, they have processes in place so that things move move through a project very smoothly and that they're using the latest technology or the latest methodologies in agile development and checking in with our their customers and clients at least every two weeks. They're getting good feedback, they know what questions they ask, they have excellent designers and honestly the and I'm sure you can see this from from what you see in the actual build is very realistic the the images that they're able to create what you're doing, you actually feel and react like it's happening in real life. My favorite part is to be involved in something new. Uh, the more we expose our students to uh, scenarios that are, they are going to encounter in their work and careers, stuff that we're unable to do in the lab in person, that should go a long way into training better power engineers.